Hello and welcome to another part of our Game Maker series, our How To series. And at the moment we're talking about movement in games and I really wanted to bring out just a few videos that would explain movement in great detail. So we put out a, a keyboard input video and I just wanted to do a follow up on that. Um, really a short version because that one's quite long so this keyboard input video is for those of you who think you understand how it kind of works you understand variables you've got an inkling of how the keyboard works but we're going to go through it again but this is the short version if you want the full version look at our previous keyboard input video okay so let's get started because this is the short version so we've already got an object you need to create this you need to create a sprite you need to create an object and assign the sprite to it the sprite is mine 16 by 16 but yours can be any size really and we are going to create some code in the step event and we are going to output some values to the output window down here so you can see what's going on. That's really what the output window is for. So we can really debug our code. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create a line of code that takes input from the keyboard. So that's you when you're pressing the keys, when you're playing the game, the game needs to recognize what is being pressed and decide then what it's going to do with that input. So let's start. We are going to create a local variables. Now I'm not going to explain variables other than to say they are storage buckets that contain values and you can have local variables which we're going to create here with the var keyword so we're going to create a local variable called move actually move right and that variable will only stay in existence for the duration of this step event once the step event code is finished um, move right will be destroyed when the step event starts up again in another in the next 60th of a second another move right will be created and it will last for as long as that frame lasts and then be destroyed and then another one will be created in the the next frame and so on and so forth so var move right is going to be recreated every 60th of a frame. That's a local variable, only stays in existence literally in this window. A lot of the other variables that we created in the create event, which we haven't got any there yet, but we will have, they will stay in existence for as long as the object exists. So if the object is on your screen, those variables exist and are changing um, all the time, you know, with your input and depending on what they are, they may not change. So they are what we call module level variables or object level variables. All right, so move right, we're gonna say that equals keyboard check. We're using the keyboard check function, which takes input of a key. And that key can be specified by using the VK underscore constants, VK underscore right, we are going to use now that means when this runs, when the, when I run the program in a minute, this step event will constantly be looking for, checking for a keyboard event. And that keyboard event will be the right key. When that right key is pressed or held down, then it will return a one into this storage bucket variable move right. So move right will equal one. If right key is not pressed at all, i.e. nothing's pressed, well, the right key is not pressed. Keyboard check will return a zero into move right. So move right is always going to be zero or it's going to be one. If it's not pressed, it's going to be zero. If the right key is pressed, it's going to be one. So let's see that in action. Well, actually, you won't be able to see anything because um, until I do another line of code, but I'm going to show that to you so you can see that you won't see anything, which is kind of a bit strange, but that's what I'm going to do. So, here we're running. Now, if I press the right key, 
you see absolutely nothing happening whatsoever. Okay, so that's the end of that demonstration because it didn't really demonstrate anything. Now, in order to see the output on the output window, we need a line of code that show, show debug message that will actually write a message to the screen. So if I wrote a string message called hello, note that if you have a sequence of characters, you cannot do it like this. You have to put it inside a string, which means inside quotes. Otherwise, the, the game maker thinks hello is some keyword, which it isn't, or it thinks it's a variable, which it isn't a variable, okay? So it, this will just write hello to the screen, okay? We don't want to write just hello to the screen. We don't actually want to write the value of move right. So we should put in move right here. There we go, local variable move right. Let's put it in. So that is gonna give us a value for move right. Now let's run it and see what happens again. Okay, let me move the window up here. Now, as you can see, the value is zero. That looks like it's not moving at all, but I guarantee you it is. There's 60 of those a second being scrolled up the screen so fast that you can't even see. Now, if I press the left key, what's gonna happen? Absolutely nothing. If I press the up key, what's gonna happen? Absolutely nothing. If I press the down key, what's gonna happen? Absolutely nothing. If I press the right key, what's gonna happen? going to change to one because we're looking for the right key. I just took my finger off so it changed to naught. I'm going to hold it down now and it's going to be one. So keyboard check is returning one to into the move right variable and when we show debug message move right it outputs the value of move right which is one and that is how code it that's that is how keyboard input works. So from that, you could incorporate a keyboard check for the left key, the up key, and the down key. Now, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna put minus keyboard check VK left. Whoops. Now, that works exactly the same. So it's gonna be one or zero. So that means if this is one and this is zero, then move right's gonna be one. If this is zero and this is one, it means move right is gonna be minus one. So we should put move now or move horizontal because it's not move right anymore because we've got the left key involved. If neither of them are pressed, then this is going to be zero and this is going to be zero. So zero minus zero is zero. So we're really going to get one, zero, or minus one. Okay. Uh, let us try it and see. So we've put move, ah, oh, move horizontal is what we want in there. So we want the value of that. Let's run it again, see what happens. Okay, now you notice that the, the square will not move at all because we haven't put any code to move it. But if I press the left key, actually let's press the right key. Uh, we've got a pause event for some reason. Let me run it again. Somehow, sometimes it, it pauses causes for some reason I'm doing something which is causing it to do that I haven't figured out what yet so if I press the right key there we get the ones if I take my finger off you know get zero so we're not pressing anything if I press the left key you get minus one there you go if I take my finger off getting nothing and if I press both we basically get zero take my fingers off still zero and that is the way keyboard works and that's the short version so we shall resume with um, a video on the variables x speed and y speed is how we capture where to move or how many pixels to move our player 
every frame. And that's going to be the subject of the next video.